hello hello uh thank you for joining me i am trini barbie and i will be doing another get ready with me featuring refresh clothing today um it's a little bit of i'll say it's like a summer dress but it's kind So how are you guys doing today? Catch my bearings. How are you guys doing today? How are you guys doing this week? It is for me filming this. It is Thursday. But how have you guys been doing this week? <clears throat> Just a mental check-in. Like I said, this outfit or this uh, dress is from Refresh Clothing. I will be working with them during this series, Colors of the Caribbean. And I will be pushing out or um, I will have a video a week. Um, it will be makeup and outfit together. That is my plan. So this is video number two. Yay. If you have not checked out my first video, Please do so. It was posted on this past Tuesday. My goal is to um, have a video every week. Tuesday is my goal. That is my goal. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> where did you go? So, like I said, this is outfit number two. And it is kind of like a sun dress. It is a pretty simple dress, so we can go either way with the makeup. I want to do, since I did something so colorful at first, I want to do something a little bit more toned down. Maybe like a smoky eye, I was thinking. Maybe. <clears throat> so let me put on my sunscreen. We need sunscreen. Yes. I believe in skincare. I believe in skincare prior to your makeup. I do believe in that. So. I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera and I will be back. Okay, and my eyebrows are on. Now I'm just going to prime my lids. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Primer Pencil in Skin Tone. It's actually in the color, what color is it? Nude. I'm going to show you a daytime look with this dress. Now, with this type of dress, you could dress it up, you could dress it down, depending on the accessories, shoes, bag, even makeup. <clears throat> now, if you wanted to dress it up, you could do like a smoky eye. Um, like, if you were wearing it at night, you could do like a smoky eye look. Uh, but since I'm wearing this during the day, I will have some sunglasses to go with it. So I'm doing like a pretty much a line of lashes type of look, but with a little bit more eyeshadow. I'll use this palette. This is the Wet n Wild palette, and not a basic peach. So it kind of has like some peachy tones and stuff like that in there. Uh, let's get. Started. 
with the eyes. I always like to do my eyes first because I never know where I'm going with it. I'm just going <laughs> to grab a transition color. We're just going to do this color. Right here. And from the same palette, I am going to grab this brown color right here and pack it on the outside. What I did was just take the eyeshadow and drag it in just a little bit and took a lid to kind of make that winged effect. So my lid color is going to be this peachy pinky color right here. Again, this is a daytime look, so it's a lot more softer. Um, I'm trying to stay away from the harshness of the jet black liners for this daytime look. Now, I may add a little bit of a liner on my directly on my lash line to kind of camouflage the lash band, but that's about it it that's about it but so far I'm just going to be using eyeshadow to kind of do everything I'm just kind of swooping over that to kind of soften it out a little bit and this is the Smashbox Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara. Moisturize it to my face because I already put on sunscreen. I'm going to put on a moisturizer. put on another eyeshadow over this just to get the pop just a little bit more let me see I kind of want to use this color right here so let's see Ooh. Oh. yep I'm 
gonna use the Laura Geller spackle again. I used that the last time and it worked out pretty well with the foundation that I used. And I'm just gonna use that on the out skirt of my face. Because this area is bare, I'm going to bring some of that down to my chest. Decollete. Chest. Decollete. Neck. Make sure I get up under my eyes. Definitely check them out. They are very small girl friendly. They are very, I mean, they cater for everyone. Um, they really do cater for everyone. Their clothing, their size, ranges really do cater for everyone. So definitely check them out. It is a boutique, so just remember you're not going to find too much of the same outfit. First come, first serve. Boo boo. <laughs> first come, first serve. So, you see something that you like, definitely snag it because that is the name of the game, unfortunately. There's not going to be too much of the same outfit. And he does get new clothing, new shipments every day. He not only sells clothes, there's accessories in there as well, glasses. He sells grills. Um, he has grills in there as well, as well as body oils. So definitely definitely check them out check them out so now and I'm going to take it and dot it this dries pretty quickly so you have to move quickly it is full coverage 
it is matte so which is why I moisturized my skin so much prior to putting on this foundation you cannot dot 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 all over and then blend out you have to dot in certain spots dot in on one side blend out and then go over and dot on the other side and blend out so me personally i need two dots two piece size amounts to cover my whole face And this is in the shade uh, 4.25 skin tone dark undertone warm I'm um, usually run pretty neutral all golden neutral golden um, so but those shades that those shades um were pretty red on me they were pulling pretty red on me when i tried them at the store so which is why i got this particular shade and it seems to be a good match make sure i track this all the way down my my neck okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab because it is so hot outside I'm going yes. to grab this Maybelline highlighter in cafe this is a little bit closer to my skin tone Like I said, you guys, I am originally from Trinidad and Tobago, a small island in the Caribbean. We have, every year we have carnival that comes along is every ooh, Monday and Tuesday, right before Ash Wednesday. So it usually falls around the same time Mardi Gras falls. Pretty much the same days, uh, yeah, it's fat, uh, fat Monday and Tuesday, right before Ash Wednesday, is when Carnival, <laughs> Carnival usually for, so we have, if you know anything about Carnival, it is very colorful. Anything about Mardi Gras, it is very colorful. It is very expressive. And 
that is pretty much what I, the idea I wanted to bring to this series, The Colors of the Caribbean. Just be expressive, be as colorful as you want, as muted as you want, keyword as you want. <laughs> So, I mean, it have no, it's the basic, okay, how you do your eyes, how you do your brows and everything like that. But, you still, it's not so much rules I wanted to come on here and talk about, but more so just expressing yourself. Expressing yourself through clothes, expressing yourself through makeup express yourself get out whatever creativity you have get out and be creative get however that look whether it is through makeup through clothes through dancing through um art just be creative be yourself be you be just be <laughs> i mean everybody's so serious now with everything that going on nobody just taking the time well no everybody don't have a choice but to take the time and just be Down to bronzify the face is going to bronzify my nose. get the lower lash line in line so let's go back in with that dark brown the color right there
up. And this is the finished makeup. Okay guys, so I just wanted to come back and probably end this live. This is the makeup. Let me go back in front of my ring light. This is the makeup. This is what we're looking like. It's just three shadows and then that pop of color at the bottom. This is the reason why I put the pop of color at the bottom because of these shades here. This is what we are looking like. Okay. And this is the outfit. Again, this is from Refresh Clothing, Refresh Urban Wear here in the Five Points West area of Birmingham, Alabama. Um, you can give them a call. I will list all of their information, all of their contacts, all of their social media handles. I will list all of their information in the description below. And again, I just wanna thank you guys for joining me on my series, Colors of the Caribbean. Um, this is more of a muted, more neutral, with a pop of color because the dress is so simple. You could go anywhere with this, with this particular um, makeup. You could go as simple or as bold as you like because this is a daytime look. I wanted to do it this way. I wanted to go a little bit neutral because I went so bold in my last makeup tutorial. Whew, and I am hot, it is hot. And again, this is the final makeup look with hair. This is the final uh, results of the Get Ready With Me. I will post pictures of this outfit and everything like that. I will post pictures. So please be on the lookout. Definitely check me out at uh, Trini Barbie on Facebook or Donna Bryan, the makeup artist on Facebook as well. If you'd like to make a make any makeup appointments, it will be the Donna Bryan, the makeup artist page. I will list all of my handles, all of my contact information below. And again, thank you guys so much for joining me on this second episode of Colors of the Caribbean, featuring Refresh Clothing. And I look forward to seeing you guys on my next one. Thank you. Let's get cute, shall we?